Hello everyone, this is Ahmed and I would like to welcome you uh, to another anatomy tutorial uh, where we are going to continue working on the muscles of the shoulder joint and at the same time we may look at uh, some other muscles found in this region. This is a lateral view of the forelimb of the camel where we can see the scapula. This here is the dorsal border of the scapula with the scapular cartilage and in the lateral view as we said we can easily identify or see the scapular spine here in the middle. Here from the supraspinous fossa which is located the cranial to the spine of the scapula we can see the supraspinous muscle which is developed in the camel and uh, inserts on the greater tubercle of the humerus and also on the lesser tubercle. Here from the infraspinous fossa of the scapula we can see the infraspinous muscle which in inserts on the greater tubercle, the caudal part of the greater tubercle of the humerus. This process here, the acromion, which represents the distal part of the spine of the scapula, and this is here the origin of the uh, acromial part of the deltoid muscle, which inserts in common with the scapular part on the uh, deltoid tuberosity of the humerus in this area here. Here we removed actually the tendon of the scapula part of the deltoid muscle here. The deltoid muscle arises from the spine of the scapula and from the outside surface of the infraspinous muscle and inserts as you can see here in common with the uh, acromial uh, part of the deltoid muscle on the deltoid tuberosity of the humerus. In this video, I would like also to mention the triceps brachii as the long head of the triceps brachii which originates from the caudal border of the scapula and inserts on the olecranon of the ulna uh, acts actually as a flexor of the shoulder joint. And here we can see the lateral head of the triceps brachii in the lateral view which inserts in common with the long head of the triceps brachii on the olecranon of the anna. And now let's look at some other muscles which we can see in this lateral view. This one is the cleidobrachial muscle which is part of the brachiocephalic muscle. And uh, this one here uh, we can see a uh, part of the deep pectoral muscle. The deep pectoral muscle as you know originate from the um, sternum and uh, inserts on the greater and lesser tubercle and now let's move and look at this muscle here this is the part of the latissimus dorsi latissimus dorsi which inserts uh, on the um, teres major tuberosity of the humerus and uh, now we can see from the caudal border of the scapula this muscle here which is actually part of the medial muscles of the shoulder joint but uh, we can see it now let's name it this is the teres major tuberosity from the supraglenoid uh, tubercle we can see here the biceps brachii the biceps brachii is covered here with the uh, cleidobrachial muscle this is the biceps brachii and as you can see here the tendon uh, start from the supraglenoid tubercle and moves inside the intertubercle groove or bicipital groove between the greater and lesser tubercle of the humerus and runs down and starts finally on the medial surface of the radius and ulna. Now let's move to the medial side of the forelimb and uh, let's uh, talk about the medial uh, muscles of the shoulder joint. Here we can see the scapula where we can also see the scapular cartilage and the dorsal border of the scapula.
This service here uh, is called as a serrated face of the scapula, which is the insertion uh, place of the ventral serrated muscle. Here we can see the subscapular muscle arises from the subscapular fossa of the scapula and inserts on the lesser tubercle of the humerus. And here we can see the subscapular nerves which are responsible for the innervation of this muscle. Here we can see the supraspinous muscle, which we talked about before. Uh, it's a developed muscle in the camel, and that's why we can see the cranial part of it also in the medial view. Between the supraspinous muscle and uh, the subscapular muscle, we can see the suprascapular nerve, which is responsible for the integration of uh, the supraspinous and infraspinous muscles on the lateral side. And this one here is the suprascapular artery. Here we can see the rest of the muscle which we cut before. This is the deep pectoral muscle inserts on the greater and lesser tubercle of the humerus. From the caudal angle of the scapula, we can see this muscle here inserts on the teres major tuberosity. This is the teres major muscle. Now let's look at some other muscles we, which we can see here in this area. This is the latissimus dorsi. The latissimus dorsi originates from the thoracolum fascia and inserts on the teres major tuberosity. This here is the thoracolum nerve and the thoracolum artery. Here we can see also the coracobrachial muscle located on the medial surface of the shoulder joint. This muscle is innervated by the musculocutaneous nerve, which we can see here. Musculocutaneous nerve is uh, one of the nerves from the brachial plexus. This nerve runs through the brachial muscle, innervated and gives branches to the biceps brachii. Here we can see the long head of the triceps brachii, originate from the caudal border of the scapula, and inserts on the olecranon tuberosity.